I have something pretty cool I wish to demonstrate to you guys here inside of Studio One Three. I was just sitting here composing a new cue for a commercial and came across something that I thought was just pretty wicked, right? So this is something that uh, I know I wasn't able to achieve inside of Logic. And I hate using Logic as the, the <laughs> I just hate, it, is, it, it makes it seem as though Logic is not great. I get a lot of comments, you know, what, which one should I go with? But that's not what we talk about right now. Um, Logic is still a great program. This is just something that Logic couldn't do or at the time because they may have been an update or whatever but okay as you guys know inside of studio one you can create scratch pads right so i just this is my first time actually pulling it up and, and doing something because i was going through some sounds and trying to discover what i will new what i will use next in my queue so like you know this is what i was working with all right Lolly lolly dolly dolly lollipop song girl walking in the park you know that type of thing or bounty fresh <laughs> one of them bounty fresh videos y'all y'all remember that i know y'all remember that but uh you know anyway so i'm in here creating you know that and i came across this wicked sound right here and it and it's actually uh, something inside of contact players, the retro machines. I, I never really played with this, but it just this time I just went to see if I can find something different, you know. And um, it's like a tremolo type thing going on, you know, back 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 and forth, right? So you know that's what makes it seem like it's it sound like it's an organ or whatever. But all right, we're not we, we're not trying to <laughs> we're not trying to review the the, the sound, but. I, I did something and thought it was pretty cool and just came over into this scratch pad area, right? And I, I've already deleted the um, the MIDI information here. And so I have it bounced down. This is this is what it is right here. So it was like, a, like, this is just totally different from what I just showed you, right? Like, what the heck is he doing? Like, that's just... But sometimes that happens where you, you're in the middle of a track and then you get an idea from something else by playing with, you know, new sounds or whatever. And I say the the, the great thing about this is a trackpad being available. Bravo to Studio One. Bravo to Personas for, for uh, you know, implementing the, the new design with something like that. That's 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 pretty brilliant. That's, that's really dope. So what I did was I went over to um a new track right a new a, a new session and just copy and paste this track just this this region here just to see you know just on some let's see what happens type thing all right so in my new song here i, I just created something and you know it, it it actually copied and paste so i'm i'm going to build another track here this is an empty track and i'm just going to paste down <laughs> that's that's dope right like okay you know like oh wow so you mean tell me i can like i can go anywhere in the previous session and just copy stuff and just bring it over into that that's that's mind-blowing right there all right and and, and i didn't want to take forever showing you guys what I what I was able to achieve, but I think that that's pretty cool. How you can copy information from one session to another session with no problem. So this is your boy Ella. Remember, at the end of the day, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.